Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction. Um, it is truly grateful to be here. Uh, I am excited about this event. I am excited to be talking to you guys. And the, you know, the whole basis around this event is how to make a mark, um, how to leave your mark in this world. And I think about myself, as you heard in this introduction, I've went through a lot of adversity, but I have came on top. I have been able to create my identity and have the life that I want. And that has given me the ability to create a legacy that will leave my mark on this world when I leave. And so I want to kind of tell you guys, how do you do that? How do you find that ability to have that place, have that ability to leave that mark? I was shot multiple times in my abdomen at the age of 24. Before that, I didn't have the ability or strength to know what leaving a mark in this world meant. So at the age of 24, I was okay with accepting the fact that I was going to die. I was willing, I was ready, and that was it. My mark in this world would have been nothing. I would have never understood my place in this life if I had never been shot. Me about to lose my life gave me the ability to appreciate everything about my life when I think about living your best life, when I think about creating your own identity, I think about the things that we have to overcome that allows us to be grateful for every moment, every small thing that life provides for us. At the moment when I was shot, I didn't understand the appreciation of life and I didn't I was not willing to accept the life that I was about to face. I was new to this disabled community, I paralyzed from the waist down for the rest of my life. These were things I couldn't accept. I was already battling an identity for my own self, an identity that I was willing to accept at the age of 24 being shot. I was ready to retrain my mind. I wanted to live a life that I could be proud of, leave my mark in this world, create a legacy. Those are things that wasn't even clear to me till now. My vision started to expand when I felt so defeated. Have you ever thought about waking up in the morning and just realizing your legs don't work every day? Every day. Those were things that I had to face. So when I tell you the ability for us to be able to leave our mark in this world, it takes acceptance. You got to know who you are. You got to know your worth. You have to be fearless. You have to be reckless. You have to take risk. You have to be that person that you've been looking for. You have to be the change that you wish to see. You have to create problems in this world that nobody has thought about fixing. Or we should fix problems in this world that nobody has thought about fixing. And that is the ability to start to create a legacy. That gives us the ability to leave a mark in this world. For me, of course, like I said, I, I woke up. I was paralyzed from the waist down. My mark and my legacy took a long journey. A lot of adversity was things that I faced. I went through two years of bed rest, 21 hours a day. And on top of that, I was 230 pounds when I was shot and I'm only 5'5". Five five. I dealt with a lot of health complications and I had to do a lot of self-reflection. I had to realize how could I leave a mark in this world if I don't know who I am? If I don't know how to truly love myself in the body that I am in, how can I leave a legacy when I can't even say my name without being confident enough that everybody understands who I am? So I started to work on that. I had to face things that I never wanted to face. We have to dig inward to bring ourselves outward. When we think about living our best lives, when we think about creating our own identities, sometimes we don't think about the process that it takes us. We're so focused on instant gratification sometimes that we don't go for the journey. And the journey is what makes us. The journey is what creates us. The journey is what allows us to see life for what it is and be grateful for just that. We cannot expect more out of anything if we're not expecting it out of ourselves. 
had limitations that everybody in the world can see. But I was able to push myself past my limitations that I could never do when I was walking. When we think about leaving a mark, when we think about truly understanding who we are and what we want to do in this world, how we want this world to remember us, well, then that's the battle that you start to face with yourself because it starts with you. I couldn't give out any love into this world until I began to love myself. So when I talk about that journey and I talk about the defeats and I talk about the things that I had to face, these were literally issues that I had never been able to overcome until I faced my reality. I was 230 pounds. I'm 5'5". Five five. The moment that I was shot, I really had to start to face that I was overweight and I was dealing with health complications that allowed me and created a negative mindset for me for so long. The reason why I'm sharing that with you is because through the adversity that I faced, the moment that I thought, you know, the most important thing, or at least the most important thing to me, my legs, my mobility was taken. I took control of my life. I lost 100 pounds just practicing so much self-care and awareness. I was still on bed rest. But what happened was I had did something I could never do walking. I had the ability to now take control of my life and create the understanding that I wanted to create, make myself the person that I actually wanted to be and be able to be proud of the person that I see. Those are a lot of things that we have to take into understanding when we're thinking about how we're going to leave our mark in this world. Because we can do all the good things and never be good inside. And that would never show on the outside. I'm a person that used to be negative and now I am positive and I love everything about life. I want to tell you that the things that help me manifest stay driven and determined and create an impact for lives around me, affirmations. I practice them because I think that when we, when we push ourselves, when we actually truly understand our limits, we see that we don't have any. We see that all we gotta do is start speaking the power of words into ourselves and believe those words that we can be whatever we want to be and that we can leave a positive mark on this world when we leave. If you are today, you can always be better tomorrow, especially if you have that chance. Some people will never have the opportunity to even change the person that they see today. So if you have that opportunity, you create it. You fill it in because it's there in front of you, but you got to go after it. And you have to see yourself for who you want to see yourself for. When we think about doing something and creating an impact, the biggest impact is knowing yourself in such a positive way that you lead, lead this world with empathy and integrity. You're not a judgmental person when you focus on who you are. When you're constantly working on your on somebody else it's not worth it because you're worth more and when you know that you're worth more you teach other people the same thing the same values you give them strength in moments of their weakness because you believe because you have faith in others because you gave yourself the ability to have faith in yourself and when you can have faith in yourself it takes that little seed that you can plant into other people's lives it's a, it's a quote by the late Nipsey Hussle that says, or at least he used it a lot. It says the highest human act is to inspire. I truly believe when we're thinking about leaving our mark in this world, we have to be focused on the impact that we leave for others. How do we overcome our adversity? And what do we do to help someone else not have to experience that same situation? We have to give people hope. And when we can hear other people's experiences, 
don't know if you heard me right. If you, we have to give people hope. And if you hear other people's experiences, that should allow you to have, to lead with empathy and have faith in each and everybody around you, that they can be better than who they are. That it may be the mistakes that they made doesn't make them, you know, the best person. But who never had enough, you know what? But you can still be better, but you can still change. People, as much as we want people to pour into us, as much as we pour into ourselves. It's a ripple effect when we think self-love and self-awareness that leads us to the ability to lead this world in a positive manner. When I speak again, I want to share some affirmations that I tell, tell myself every day. Because in order for me to change this world, I constantly believe that we have to change ourselves. And, you know, and honestly, that's enough. So if I, if only I would change my thoughts, I can change the world. Happiness, laughter, peace, and wealth surrounds me because I am worthy. I love myself unconditionally. Every day I'm becoming a better version of myself. I am allowed to say no to others and yes to myself. I will free my arms and grab my dreams. I'm a problem solver, but I am not everyone's problem solver. I have abilities that no one else has and I will use them to make the world a better place. Humility is at the heart of learning from my mistakes. Forgiveness allows you to see that those who have harmed you are human. I talk about, or I wanted to share that last affirmation. I don't want to go into so many. We'll do a breakout session. Hopefully everyone's joining on that. Um, but forgiveness allows us to know that those who have harmed us are human. When I think about impact, when I think about knowing yourself, when I think about living your best life, people that live their best life are free. People that have created their identity are free. When you think about when you, forgiveness, when you think about being a victim to something, you're allowing control. You're allowing other people to have control. I was shot multiple times by someone I never knew. I was walking back to my car after a confrontation, but I literally did not expect my life to change that day. There was no way that I had the ability to see that person for who they were or because of what they did to me. But through this transformation of me ex exactly accepting who I am and accepting the flaws and changing them, taking control of my life, seeing that I had to have hope within myself and faith in my abilities, that I started to surpass those abilities and create an opportunity, that I realized that I couldn't be mad at anybody that have put harm to myself as much as I could be mad at myself for the mistakes that I allowed myself to make. The thing is, is that there's a word that I want to leave with you. It's called accountability. Accountability is something that makes us uncomfortable. It makes us have to admit to things that it was easier for us to blame on someone else. I took accountabilities of all my actions and emotions that played a part in my change of my life. They gave me strength because I am grateful and I am thankful that I have the ability to make an impact in other people's lives just by taking control of mine. That's my mark in this world. I can leave a legacy knowing that I overcome, overcame so much adversity that I can plant seeds in so many. That's my legacy. That's what I'm proud of. But because of that, I got to face the person that shot me I got to tell him that because you thought you were trying to take my life, you gave me life. I got to let him know that I was truly grateful for the life that I was given. That is a legacy in itself. That's changing the way that we see things. Again, when we think about leaving our mark, 
Think about what we can do for ourselves so that we can understand ourselves and love ourselves. And that will allow that mark that you're looking to leave, create itself. Life is all about choices. We make the right ones and we can make the world a better place. We move with integrity and lead with empathy and everything that you ever want in life will come. I will share two quotes that are from some of my favorite people and I will leave you guys with that. So I'm, I'm truly, I hope that today's talk was something for that inspires you guys. Um, and again, like if you're a part of the breakout, I'm excited about that as well. Um, so like I said, I spoke affirmations. Um, and so Muhammad Ali, if anyone knows Muhammad Ali, right? Like Muhammad Ali. So Muhammad Ali, Ali says, it's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. Truly understand that if you use words and you start speaking them into yourself, then your reality can be created, the one that you want, because you are speaking with intent and belief. And always understand that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in moments of challenge and controversy, Martin Luther King. We have to rise above our circumstances to leave a positive mark in this world. Truly understand who you are first, and that will allow you to lead in the most positive, forgiving, Love in way you can. And that's the way we leave a mark on this world by making us a better person. Thank you guys. My name is Wesley Hamilton. I truly appreciate having the opportunity. Talk to you guys soon.